another prop finished semi easy one it doesn't need to be stained or painted <laughs> borrowed this idea from uh, hall staff and I think he borrowed it from somebody else but and as you can tell it's an animated Ouija board what I ended up doing was in our haunt last year in the gypsy display that we had set up I improvised a makeshift round table it was about the same dimensions as the tabletop on this one uh, <laughs> Didn't use the uh, right materials for it. I used some scrap and we had some problems with it. So this year I figured I was going to make a new table anyway to go in to replace that little thing from last year. And we decided to mount a moving Ouija board in it. And it's basically the same, same type of thing as what Hall staff did. With the exception that his box that he made is made to sit on top of the table where mine is mounted on the table legs so it's mounted from underneath uh, when we go to put this out in our display we'll uh, have a tablecloth over it naturally and then the uh, Ouija board will sit on top of the tablecloth right now it's just on here as you can see loose <laughs> and there's our mechanism I use a uh, reindeer motor and originally I had a couple of screws in on either side to stop it so it wouldn't go all the way. My wife and I got to looking at it. We like it better going like this. You know, and just only goes so far and then turns back. Not the cleanest thing in the world, but you know, people aren't gonna see it in there, so it won't matter, and then the table's gonna be covered, like I said, with a tablecloth. Well, I also, another thing I did is on the base down there, I added a shelf down there so we could set a fogger or a stereo unit in it or something in it as well. But the uh, tabletop does come loose for storage, so that will help. That's, ah, break my hand here. There we go. That's pretty much uh, the latest project. You know, kind of a quick, easy one. Took me about three days altogether as I had time, so... But it should be interesting to see how things go in the haunt with it. Uh, one thing we are thinking about doing too is last year on the table that we had in here, that we had in the gypsy display, we had tarot cards spread out, displayed on the table. I were thinking this year about maybe hanging them over the, uh, uh, off the ceiling, you know, and over the table a bit. That way we will have the uh, animation with the uh, Ouija board and then the tarot cards hanging too. So, I don't know. You know, it's something we're talking about. I'm not sure if we're going to do that or not, but we'll find out here. Hey guys, I got a, another partial prop done. Uh, this one I won't get finished until I actually I get it home. The wife's got some work to do on it as well. But uh, for those of you that are subscribed to Widowmaker Productions, uh, Greg uh, did a, a prop build back in February for a, uh, the mechanism to do a leering scarecrow, which was about seven foot tall. And I had the idea it would be a neat mechanism to use for an animated spider. And it's basically made out of PVC pipe. You can see it up and running here. We'll get you a look at the back. There's the motor. this line you can hear it's a little noisy I've actually uh, made it so it would be kind of noisy here let me get this unplugged okay now what we're gonna what I'm gonna actually be doing and I'm being vlog bombed by my dog hello sassy you hush but anyway what we're gonna end, I end up going to be blah, blah, untie my tongue what I'm gonna end up doing with this is my wife is going to get some burlap to go over the top from the top down to the ground and then we're going to stitch some uh, the fake cobweb over the burlap and then up here on the top i bought last year one of those uh, 90 inch spiders and i'm going to mount the spider right to the top of it and then uh, it's going to go on my spider display 
Uh, like I was saying though, I still need, we still need to get the piping painted black. I'll do that when I get home. And then the wife's gonna put together the burlap and, uh, with the fake cobwebs that go over the top, but she'll do that once we get home. Just don't have the time nor the patience now while we're at the produce stand. And speaking of the produce stand. Okay, here we go, now I'm in a different location. But like I was saying, speaking of the produce stand, we're getting down toward the end of our season. We got about another two and a half weeks to go. We close uh, September 30th, and then I get to go home, and I'm looking forward to it. But I got to thinking, I haven't showed the produce stand at all uh, for a couple of months, and we've got a lot of stuff in. So I figured I'd give you guys kind of a little bit of a walkthrough. Got potatoes and onions. Uh, this is pretty much our pepper row. We got a few cute uh, cucumbers squeezed in. More peppers. Uh, we've got lots of corn. We've got five different types of squash. Actually, six. We got cantaloupe and honeydew over there. Two different types of honeydew. And we've got our watermelon bin here. We've got, well, right now we're down to four different varieties of watermelon. Some grape and cherry tomatoes. Gourds. And some uh, more peppers. And then this over here is our sale table. These are, this is stuff left over from last week that we've got on special. And then we get into the fresh stuff this week. Apples, plums, prunes, cluots. Uh, we got a couple different types of uh, Bartlett pears in, some Asian pears, Fuji's, Honeycrisp, and then into peaches, nectarines, and then we've got uh, tomatoes, and uh, last of the zucchini and uh, eggplant. So that's basically what we've got right now. Uh, we've still got a few more varieties of apples we'll be getting over the next week or, week or so, and a couple of the different varieties of pear as well. But... Uh, that's pretty much what we're selling over here now. Like I said, we close August 30th. So we've only got a couple of weeks left to go. And believe me, I am looking forward to it. Hey guys, and what vlog is not complete without a few subscriber shout outs. And I to th I'm gonna thank everybody ahead of time right now. I've uh, been getting kind of overwhelmed the last couple of days. I've been getting a ton of subscribers and wasn't expecting <laughs> to be getting so many over the last week or two. So let's get this started and I'm going to butcher the first one. Sean Del Savert and then Claire Costable. Roguekill 517. Haunt for Fun. Josh Payne 24. Occults. Son Siri 6. A new user, Holiday Yard, Larnell, The Terrace, 432, Colorado Ben Lights, and then there's Queen Ruby Altesk, and I'm pronouncing some of these names and I apologize for it. Professor Ecto. Dabit353. Dana, I thought you subscribed to me ages ago, bro. <laughs> nice to see you come back. Uh, Nail Bunny Girl, Toto View, and Haunted Attractions. Actually, Haunted Addictions. My apologies. Thank you to you guys, and thanks for the subscribers. If you have any questions or uh, what have you, let me know, and I hope you enjoy what you see.